event. So. Yeah, so um, I've been teaching special ed at Doolin this year, and a lot of my kids um, just come from really, really painful backgrounds, and um, I've written a proposal to have a class. My friend and I did it. She's a teacher there, and so we took, we created a boys' class and a girls' class, and it could be um, like a leadership class where we talk about forgiveness and healing and identity and all these things. So I've had a lot of women speakers come in and talk about the things that they've been through. Um, and I've been praying this last few weeks, like, we've come so far, but I'm like, God, I just want them to really get it, to really see, like, that you're real and that you love them. And um, I saw Claudia on Wednesday, and I was like, oh, I have to have her come in, because, you know, when she speaks, just God's love pours out of her face, and it's like a little fountain. So um, I asked her to come. And um, there's this one group of girls that are very shy, and they, I mean, they all are cutting, and they, their parents are gangsters, they have a hard time, and I just felt like her gentleness would really connect. So anyway, she came and she told her story, and she just, it was really beautiful. And those girls, it really touched them, and a lot of them are Spanish speakers too. Um, and then we were talking about the summer and all those things at the end, it was like five minutes, and. It's like, okay, well, we looked at each other, and I was like, hey, do you guys, have any of you guys ever seen an actual miracle? And they were like, no, or whatever. So I was like, Claudia always sees miracles everywhere she goes, and she should tell you, so she's told her telling them the story about praying for this girl's ankle with students. She was like, students just like you, and God healed them. And so right at that moment, I'd had a pep rally earlier that day, and this girl had twisted her ankle. She thought it was broken. They carried her to class, and I had had to carry her so to her seat. So she was carried into class? Yeah, she was carried into class. And, she, and then at that exact moment that she was talking about an ankle being healed, this girl gets up, and she's like going like this all across the room. And I was like, hey, do you guys want to see a miracle right now? We should pray for her. And we're like, can you pray for her? So she said she wanted prayer. And this girl, um, she's... When my, one of my hardest girls, she just has, her, her family is, I mean, her family's always getting shot at, and she comes, doesn't sleep at night, she comes to my classroom, no emotion the whole year. She's never connected to anything we did. But this week, she had started smiling, and this, this assembly, she had gotten involved for the first time. So she sat on the desk, and then that whole group of girls, they are like, God, stand up, and they all hold, hold their hands, they held hands, and they were like, Jesus' name, be healed! And then the girl, she like was like, I think it's better. I think it's better. She started walking, and then I think you prayed again. Yeah. And then she was like, it's gone. All the pain is gone. And she started jumping up and down on the ankle. And that whole row of girls, they were like, ah! They were so excited. And, and then we were like, who else needs to be healed? And then this girl's like, well, I have a really bad headache. And I was like, well, who else? I was like, wanting well, something different. But then we're like, okay, let's pray for a headache. And it was, it was totally gone, and she's like, she's been a real tough, all these girls are really tough, but at first, it, it, then we prayed again, and then it went totally, um, and then all these girls um, who have been cutting themselves, they started showing their wrists, and we just started praying and breaking off all of that, and um, I have a girl in my class who's Wickham, and another one who's an atheist, so I had been checking in with them, like, are you okay, you know, how are you feeling, are you comfortable, and they're like, we don't, we don't care, we don't believe in God, but we don't mind if other people do. And I was like, what did you think about the healing? They're like, that was awesome. Come on. And then one of those girls came and she hadn't wanted prayer at first, but then she came and she asked her to pray because all of her wrists were all cut up too. And so anyways. Yeah. Wow. Oh no, glory to God. And Amen. I'm just in awe. There's no words to describe his goodness. He's just so amazing. He's incredible. Jesus. He's just amazing. He loves us so much, so much. Sorry, it's not even worse I can say. I'm just an eye. I'm just so grateful to be able to be his hands and feet in his mouth. He's just amazing. God bless you.